It's great, great to have Mark from Chafts today. Mark, could you please introduce yourself? Yes, thanks, Nikolai. Uh, my name is Mark Wormsley, and I'm one of the co-founders of Chuft. And Chuft is a social enterprise creative agency. We do a lot of work in branding for startups and small businesses with new products and services. Thank you very much for for being in the five minutes of value. And um, what do you want to talk with us today? So it occurred to me when we met, Nikolai, that an awful lot of businesses over the last year or so have been forced to adapt pivot, come up with new products and services or, and describe themselves perhaps a little differently. And we offer a brand discovery workshop at Chuft, which is perfect in those circumstances. So I thought I'd share a little information about what we do, what questions we ask um, and what we urge our clients to do in those situations. And it comes down to three things for us. And I would challenge everybody listening to write this down and have a, have a workshop around this. We have a template brand tree that can be used for this. And if, if anyone would like one, just please ask Nikolai and I'm happy to send one over. But we have a concept called DBR. And DBR, it stands for Different, Better and Remarkable. And our opinion is that if you're not all of those three things, you're not doing as, uh, as well as you might do with your brand perception and the proposition. So if it's okay, I'll break those down um, just quickly. So, um, as Seth Godin tells us, um, if you're not different, you're invisible today. So it's really a really good idea to be different. I can give you some examples in a minute of, of, of how that might be achieved. And if you're not perceived as better by your customers um, or your contacts, then then your, your customers and contacts may well be somewhat promiscuous and they'll be looking out for a better service. So what makes you better? in the minds of your customers. And then the R of DBR is remarkable. And that's the hardest one. So we define remarkable as a quality of a brand or business that gets people talking about it outside a referral. So we spend about 90 minutes working through that. Sometimes it's, it drops out really easily. Other times it's, it's a bit harder to capture, but if anyone is thinking of pivoting or doing or adapting or diversifying, DBR is a good place to start. What is it that makes this different, better and remarkable? Because that needs to go on our website, it needs to go in the email newsletter, it needs, it needs to be driven home. Um, do you know what will be the way small business could actually start questioning themselves in terms of how they could follow those three those three steps in terms of being different, better and remarkable? What should business owners look at in their own business? Well, without wanting to be contentious, um, one of the things that we uh, try and do with our clients is, is to say, okay, if you're not the first or the biggest in your category, create a new category. So wherever possible, so I work with an osteopath who is now a preventative osteopath. Um, I work with an accountant who's now a forensic accountant. And so what we try and help our clients do is identify a new category that they can own uh, that is a little different from where everyone else is. If that isn't possible, then um, you take a look at the competition. So find your five biggest competitors, either geographically or uh, by industry, and take a look at what they say and what, what makes them different, better and remarkable, if at, all, if at all, and it probably isn't clear, and do some gap analysis. What could we say about what we're doing that would differentiate us from those? So for example, I work with a a manufacturer of surgical instruments and they will replace for the cost of the repair if they can't repair it. That makes them very different. Others don't do that. Um, as a business, as a social enterprise, we share profit with clients at Chuff. Not many people, not many other agencies do that. So it's a case of trying to identify what is it, what's that point of differentiation. Better is often a function of cost, quality, responsiveness and relevance. So have a look through those items and find out what is it about you that makes you better than the others or could do. And then remarkable is, is, a, is a brainstorm session. Um, what, what is it that makes us remarkable? Um, there are some great examples. I think I, you and I have spoken before about Zappos, the shoe firm in San Francisco. Very briefly, uh, they offered new starters 
they offer new starters $2,000 to lead. And on the face of it, that sounds ridiculous, but it's actually self-policing. Um, the CEO said, I'd rather have somebody, I'd rather somebody left with $2,000 if they think that's more important than staying working with me. And that's why they ended up being acquired by Amazon for $1.2 billion, not the shoes. It was the philosophy that made them different and, remar and remarkable. I'm talking to you about it. Um, so it's outside of referral. That's, that's, this is fantastic. So if we have to do it in, the, in a very uh, resumed way, uh, any tips or any advice that business owners should actually pay attention now in their own business, what, what would you say? If we have to put it maybe in a sentence. Uh, 3D, take the 3D approach. And that is define, design, deploy. So define it, design it, and then deploy it. So, um, and, and make sure you start at the first D. So the define stage is what makes us different, better, and remarkable. Once you've captured that, um, the, the other fun exercise we do is to, is to provide clients with 12 categories that might be newspaper, country, color, type of music, sport, drink. Um, if your business was one of those things, what would it be? Are you the Sunday Times or the Sun? Are you Brazil or are you Sweden? Are you, uh, it's, a, it's a great way to capture the personality of your business and st that becomes the starting point for how you want to be perceived. So that's part of that definition process. Um, some, you know, on a, on, a spec, on a scale of one to 10, how conservative or liberal are you as a business? On a scale of one to 10, how serious or humorous are you? As a, as a business and it, it, it gives you the chance and it, often out of those workshops you, you, you capture something that's really really uh, that part that point of remarkability so um, but yeah take the 3d approach define it then design it and then deploy it that's fantastic that's fantastic my watch my watch is giving is giving a sign that the time is pretty much over and i think it's been quite a lot of information condensed um uh, just as a last question do you believe then that because based on what you said i think be specific is literally the next natural steps to to move the business to the next level is that right or will be something close to that or how do you yes. think uh, identify your smallest viable audience and become the best option for that audience. That would be my advice. Go deep, uh, don't try and go broad. And if, if you're perceived as the best option for somebody in a certain situation, then it's a great way to sidestep the competition. Price sensitivity diminishes, uh, and especially if you're referred into that opportunity. So I would say, be specific, find that niche. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Mark, thank you so much for taking your time and being a, in, the, in the five minutes of value today. Uh, is, I think the information that you shared is extremely valuable because we all need to be, we all need to be different, we all need to be better, and we all need to be remarkable. Even that I believe that remarkable it needs is the is kind of putting all of those together and then trying to aim for for become a better version of ourselves. So thank you very much for share for for sharing that information with us. Um, if you have any other questions questions in the podcast as well about the podcast or about Mark just drop me a message or even you can direct a message for Mark as well and I'll see you soon thank you very much it's kind of you to invite me thank you